The murder trial of slain Bafana Bafana Captain Senzo Meiwa resumed this morning. It will resume again tomorrow morning after being postponed. It started today from scratch. That's after the appointment of Judge Rata Mokhateng. Uh, he's taken over from Judge Shipua Maumela, who has been placed on suspension. The state may be funding the legal fees for the accused, but let's find out more now uh, from ENCA senior reporter Slindolo Masigane, who has the latest. She joins us now uh, from Pretoria. Uh, Slee, that last point that I just made uh, right now, um, what is this form that uh, we see the postponement uh, uh, happening because of, the, the form that has to do with legal aid? I thought that the accused have their own private uh, legal teams. All right, it looks like uh, we uh, can't... Uh, we cannot hear uh, Slindolo Masigani for now, but while we start, uh, try to sort that out, let me give you a summary in case you've just joined us here on All Angles about exactly what happened in the High Court in Pretoria today. Of course, we have a new judge, Judge Rata Mohwakling. He takes over, as you heard uh, me saying earlier on, from Judge Shipua Mamela. He was suspended, uh, this of course, after a tribunal at uh, the, um, uh, in terms of his uh, not uh, um, concluding trials on time. Uh, him and another judge were suspended by uh, 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 President Cyril Ramaphosa. So what we heard uh, today, uh, first of all, is that it's a new trial, of course, starting all over. It means that the accused now, there's some things that are going to change or some things that have to be reread into the record now that we're starting all over. But the state promising him that uh, none of um, the list that they had given to uh, the defense in terms of witnesses has changed. So everything else will say the same and the indictment. But I understand we have our senior reporter, Slindolo Masigani, back with us. She's live from Pretoria to give us more details in terms of this case. Lee, uh, we heard in court today uh, that uh, one of the reasons that it's being um, postponed, it, it has to do with the form that has to be signed with legal aid. I thought that the accused have their own private lawyers. So what exactly is this form about? <laughs> Right. It doesn't look like Slindolo Masigani can hear us. Maybe there is uh, load shedding there in Pretoria. We'll keep trying her. But as I was saying in the summary that I can give you in case you missed those proceedings, it does continue tomorrow. Uh, but Judge Mukhwateng did say that uh, between the state and all legal counsel today, there has to be a pretrial conference. And we'll find out from SLE exactly why the pretrial conference needs to take place. And a little later on, of course, on the show, we'll be speaking to uh, Alton Hart. He's a legal expert about the same issues. Uh, one of the things that uh, the judge did say is that the accused rights have to be re-read to them in, in terms of Section 35 of the Criminal Procedure Act because this is, of course, considered, considered a new trial now that it has to be started all over. In fact, the judge kept on using uh, the inverted commas uh, as he kept saying a new trial. What we understand also is that uh, Malisa Latifo arrived in court today. He is um, a disbarred advocate, but we'll find out from Slee exactly what he was in court for this time around today. Uh, I think she's uh, been able to reconnect to us. Uh, Sinera, just confirm for me very quickly if you can hear us in Joburg. I can hear you. All right. So my question, of course, Lee, I was a bit confused in terms of the fact that the accused do have their own private lawyers. So why are we postponing because of legal aid forms that they have to sign? Mm. So that's what's quite interesting, I think, that's come out of today's proceedings. We were not in court for long. We started late as well. Uh, there were consultations with the new judge um, in chambers between counsel, of course, for the accused as well as the state. But as soon as we began at around half past 11, uh, you could really tell that uh, it is a new trial and that uh, the new judge is certainly cracking the whip in terms of trying to curtail any more delays in this particular matter. We were, of course, uh, what we did see rather um, was the judge explaining to the accused their rights. Now that we are starting the trial de novo, meaning a new, a fresh, meaning everything that happened before Judge Chifua Maumela is now a nullity. It's as if it never existed or it never happened. So um, in essence, the accused had their rights um, um, clarified to them in terms of Section 35 of the Criminal Procedure 
Disclosure Act. Um, the judge also telling the accused that if they also want to be released on bail, they can actually make fresh new applications uh, for that uh, particular process to take place. So during the court proceedings, we then heard um, from the state that the indictments, uh, the charge sheets, uh, nothing has changed in terms of that, that they still also uh, plan on uh, calling the same witnesses that um, um, have been revealed, of course, to the defense, but there was an insistence from the defense to have a pre-trial conference, but also uh, to postpone proceedings because the defense needs to ensure that uh, their financial instructions uh, have been assessed meaning that uh, we understand that forms need to be filled out by these lawyers to legal aid uh, to ensure that uh, they get paid to continue to represent the accused because what has been raised is that because the trial is starting afresh it's going to be prejudicial to these accused to have to once again pay uh, these lawyers uh, for you know in a sense the posture as well as moving forward in terms of this trial proceeding and starting afresh so those forms we understand uh, will be brought to court an order will be made by the judge to have one of the legal aid representatives bring these forms over so that they can be filled out so that uh, they can be clarity moving forward that legal aid will be uh, paying for the defense for the accused. I understand that this is not unprecedented, that it does happen at times, uh, in particular one matter in the Maragana matter where uh, we saw the families of the minors being represented as well by a private lawyer. That lawyer was also uh, paid by legal aid to represent um, those families. So um, we understand that uh, all of that is going to transpire this afternoon. The judge insisting that he wants all of these administrative issues to be sorted out as soon as possible, saying that he would assist by making sure that there are orders in place uh, to get a legal aid rep here, to have those forms filled out, to ensure that a pretrial conference takes place this afternoon so that tomorrow morning we can actually start the trial over and have the accused plead so that we can move forward. Mm, I did see Judge Mokwatleng, he was cracking the whip there. Uh, at some point, he wanted to actually start already today. Uh, but, Slee, in terms of uh, the pre-trial conference that we expect to take place between counsel today, what is the purpose of that uh, pre-trial conference? It's just to iron out uh, some issues or points of clarity that the defense may want uh, to make in terms of how the trial proceeds, the evidence that's going to be led. Uh, you know, I think they also want to clarify exactly how we're proceeding with the state. Do they plan on uh, recalling uh, the witnesses that we saw at the very beginning, or are we just going to start from where we are now uh, with, uh, the, uh, with the witness that's currently in the witness box, that is Zandi Kumar? Uh, you know, you would remember that she's still under oath. Um, and with this new trial, uh, we're just kind of trying to anticipate how the state is going to proceed. Will they then want to start afresh in the manner that they did or start with the witnesses that they started with um, in the um, old trial? Um, or do they want to proceed in, in a slightly different manner? So those are just some of the issues that I think will be ironed out uh, with the defense this afternoon. Mm. Uh, so with this being a new trial, um, you know, as the judge kept on repeating, uh, Slee, uh, what kind of rulings will stay in place? Uh, what kind of things need to put on the need to be put on the record again, etc. Mm. So you would have seen with uh, the proceedings this morning, um, with the trial starting afresh, everything um, is starting all over again, you know, new charge sheets had to be made, uh, you know, uh, disclosure had to be done once more for the defense, um, you know, the the rights of the accused uh, that didn't have their rights explained to them in terms of what they can and cannot do with this new trial, those were explained all over again. Um, some of uh, the administrative issues around, let's say, the media in court, for example, those are going to remain in place in terms of uh, the rules 
ruling that was made uh, during the trial uh, with Judge Maumela. So the media will, of course, be allowed to take the proceedings live, but, uh, you know, certain orders in terms of the visuals of the witnesses in the box, um, you know, uh, if they, if there was a ruling that they don't want to have their visuals taken, then that's going to remain in place. Um, but uh, as it stands at the moment, uh, everything else that, uh, you know, pertains to a new trial, uh, Though all those processes are, are, are being observed at the moment, uh, it's just some of those uh, rulings around the media being in court and the visuals that we can take, um, you know, the fact that we can still take proceedings live, those are just some of the things that are still remaining, I think, uh, from the old trial. But at this stage, um, Masaho, I have lost uh, my connection to you, uh, but uh, I can confirm, of course, that we do officially have a new judge, Judge Rata Mokhwateng, who is now going to officially sit uh, over the Senzo Mayua murder trial and who also seems quite interested in seeing um, this trial come to a finality, uh, mentioning that, uh, you know, there have been a lot of delays uh, in this particular matter and it's time that we we got the ball rolling uh, in terms of um, getting to the end of this matter so at this point we've adjourned for the day a pre-trial conference is going to take place between the defense as well as the state at the same time we understand a legal represent a legal aid representative brother will be making their way to court to ensure that uh, the defense gets those forms that they need to fill out um, so that uh, legal aid covers the cost um, of uh, the attorney is representing the accused tomorrow morning um, at 10 o'clock we are expecting to uh, start with the trial and having the accused make their pleas um, you also did mention of course that uh, we had a, a surprise guest if you want to call him that uh, Melissa Latefo who um, was in the courtroom uh, for uh, a little bit but um, during court proceedings I didn't see him in the gallery uh, from what I understand from some of my sources uh, um, I've been told that he had been trying to get uh, some of the accused to get new legal representation, uh, but from what I understand, the accused um, did not want uh, to replace their current lawyers. So uh, that is the information I have around why he was in court. But of course, we know as um, a disbarred advocate at this point, uh, his presence is in court uh, is the same as uh, any ordinary person coming to observe uh, these legal proceedings. So at this point, um, we will be resuming, or should I say starting the trial of Fresh uh, once again tomorrow, where we are expecting the accused to make their please. All right, senior reporter Aslindi Lomasiga, and I think you and I would agree at home that we do need this trial uh, to go uh, about uh, speedily, but also Malisela Defo, I don't think we can call him a surprise visitor anymore, can we?